Hey, it's me, Taro. So, in our adventure so far, we learned that Odin became a stew just because the people of Edo were impatient, right? But that doesn't explain why it's so delicious. Oh, look, the professor is different. He's shedding his Edo robes for a lab coat. This is where the story turns scientific. He's pointing to a map of the tongue. We all know sweet, sour, salty and bitter, but he's pointing to something else. A fifth taste, yes, a magic called umami that was discovered right here in Japan. According to the professor, this umami story has three main heroes. The first is glutamic acid, a spirit from the sea in the forest. We know it as kombu or kelp. The second is inosinic acid, the soul of the ocean, katsuobushi or bonito flakes. It lives in meat and fish. And the third, guanilic acid. This one is a bit shy. It hides mostly in dried mushrooms. A long time ago, in the 1950s, a scientist found an ancient document, well, a research paper, that revealed a powerful secret these three held, Dr. Akira Kuninaka. He was the one who solved the magic in this story. He discovered what happens if the spirit of Kombu Ain and the soul of Katsubushi should ever meet. An explosion! Even the professor is shocked! Haha. <laughs> That's right, the flavour doesn't add up, it multiplies. It's a miracle called the umami synergy. And get this, there's a golden ratio where the magic is strongest. Research shows it's when they are perfectly balanced, one to one. One plus one doesn't equal two, it equals seven or even eight times the flavour. That's just wild. It worked now, perfectly. I want you to remember something. Remember that brown stew pot we met back in the Edo period? What was that broth made of? That's right. Kombu and Katsuobushi. That stall owner who was just in a hurry accidentally created this 1 plus 1 equals 8 magic without even knowing it. But the story isn't over. We understand the magic soup. But what about that daikon radish floating inside it? That is a story for next time.